Good afternoon, I'm Chris Cooney. Welcome to Waterpoint in the President of Metro South Chamber of Commerce. Uh, we're delighted to be here at Doug King's latest uh, creation. Uh, it is, uh, absolutely exceeds all our expectations and uh, for a man who has uh, come to be equated with quality and perseverance and, and longevity in this business and in his uh, units, uh, this is just a great addition to the town of Easton. Well, let's have a round of applause for Doug. Tonight, uh, we, tonight, we celebrate our very special guest, the Mandela Washington Fellows. Uh, we are also here to celebrate in fellowship with our friends at the Brockton Rotary Club International, who are celebrating their centennial this year in 2018. They were formed back in uh, 1918. Uh, in the city of Brockton, but they really serve not just Brockton, the entire area. Uh, so this year is their centennial, 100 years. In addition, we celebrate education with our friends from Bridgewater State University, and President uh, Fred Clark is here tonight. We're going to hear from him shortly. So Bridgewater State has hosted the Mandela Fellows for the last six weeks, and uh, this is the third year in a row they've done that, and it's just a, a wonderful partnership. Uh, and as the leading chamber of commerce in the region, we celebrate business and networking. We're happy to have you here. Many co uh, companies representing various industries are here uh, tonight. So uh, with all this to celebrate, we have one extraordinary host to thank for his vision and generosity. Uh, I want you to join me in a warm round of applause as I introduce uh, our host, Doug King, president of Douglas A. King Builders. Doug, I'm going to talk a little bit about... We, we, we all... We all have uh, met, probably, Doug, at one point or another in his illustrious career, but I'm going to tell you a little about his career, because I don't think everybody knows this. Uh, in the mid-1960s, Douglas King began working in the construction industry while he was attending college, Northeastern University. Classic overachiever, right? He's there, he starts a company, and then he graduates, right? By the time he was 21, he had started the company, which is named uh, for him, and had begun work on a variety of projects in that area. 1969, he graduated from Northeastern University. Since then, Doug King has had a great success developing real estate in the South Shore area. Doug has also found time to give back to community, to this community and many that he's worked in uh, with many charitable contributions to a variety of organizations. I've been at so many dedications of pianos and, and different buildings and, and uh, projects that, and funds that he's uh, committed. It's just uh, very nice to see. Uh, Douglas A. King Builders Incorporated has been responsible for the building of more than 1,500 single-family homes, condominium units, rental homes, as well as commercial developers in Avon, Brockton, Canton, Easton, Mansfield, Milton, Norton, Rainham, Sharon, Taunton, Walpole, and Quincy. I've worked for 30 years in this business south of Boston for, for four different chambers of commerce. I've never met uh, a, a single developer who has done this type of development in such a uh, a concentrated way uh, over this many years, so just really we're lucky to have him here. Uh, all of uh, Doug King's uh, projects share one major uh, thing in common, that they're built to last and they're quality, and you can see that here, and if you haven't, all these units on this floor are open, please take a time to go around and uh, take a look at the quality finishes. So, now help me wel uh, welcome and uh, say thank you to Doug King for hosting us tonight. Thank you. Thank you all for coming. Thank Chris and the Chamber, the Eastern community, the Town of Eastern officials, and all the members of my uh, staff and team. Uh, this uh, development here, Waterpoint, is uh, one of the largest buildings we've done. It's 120,000 square feet, 60 units, uh, 88 underground parking spaces, and uh, approximately 100 on the outside. Uh, I want you to look around at all the units, and uh, you can buy one on the way out. <laughs> but uh, truthfully, I want to thank you all. I want to thank the Eastern community uh, and all the town officials. They've been great to work for, especially Connor. I don't know if he's still there. Uh, oh, there he is. And Stephanie. Uh, but thank you, and uh, enjoy the night, and uh, thank you all for coming. Thank you, Mark. To stick around because we're going to cut the ribbon right here in a moment. But I did want to uh, also acknowledge Connor Reed, uh, Stephanie, Stephanie Danielson, and uh, as well as uh, the chairman of the board of selectmen, Dottie Foganetti, uh, who is here. Dottie, let's a round of applause for our elected officials.
I also wanted to acknowledge Jean, uh, Jean Glenn. Jean is on uh, Doug's staff, and she is just phenomenal uh, force of nature, getting everything done. Well. Thank you, Jean. Uh, and of course, um, we want to thank uh, McGuire's Bar and Grill. Uh, we also want to thank uh, Shovel Town Brewery. Jim's here, uh, owner of uh, Shovel Town. And, and Neil Levine, who also owns uh, the Foundry in Easton, is here, and he's in the kitchen, uh, I think, uh, cooking. So uh, thank you, Neil, for your staff as well. So at this point, we're going to um, have Doug stand in the middle here with a ribbon. All of you are going to be in the background uh, of the shot. So uh, I'm going to ask uh, Jerry and Dottie, uh, as well as... Um, uh, Fred and uh, Rich, all the people on the uh, agenda, to stand right here. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I want to go this way. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, pull, pull the ribbon pretty tight. Yeah. Are we ready? All right, we're just about ready. Don't want to put anybody else in this? No? Say cheese. All right, say cheese. One, two, three, go for it. <laughs> okay, folks, so we've got a little bit more here, and I'm going to give away some Red Sox tickets, okay? So, um, we want to, this time, uh, introduce uh, Richard Hook. He's the president of the Brockton Rotary Club. Say a few words about participation. Rich? Thank you, Chris. Brockton Rotary is proud to be here and always happy to partner with Metro South Chamber, along with Bridgewater State, and Doug King. A warm welcome to the Mandela Fellows. This is Rotary's third year, having the pleasure to meet and have a conversation. It's wonderful getting to know each of you. For those of you who may not know, Rotary is an international organization, over 100 years old, made up of small groups throughout the world each having the same mission, service above self. Brockton Road has been involved in helping countries with clean water systems, vision testing, eyewear, and emergency shelter solutions. Brockton Road has been involved in helping here in our community. We've given scholarships, donations to the Brockton Public Schools for books, uniforms, and advanced technology. We visit senior centers, nursing homes, volunteer meals on wheels, and rebuild playgrounds. Each member of Rotary, no matter where they are, vowed to follow the four-way test, which is, of the things we think, say, or do, is it the truth? Is it fair to all concerned? Will it build goodwill and better friendships? Will it be beneficial to all concerned? If you want to learn more about our club, we invite you to attend our meetings. They're every Thursday at Thorny Lee from 12.15 to 1.30. Come enjoy the fellowship. Thank you. Thank you, Richard. So now we have... Uh, our very special guest, Fred Clark, president of Bridgewater State University. Say a few words about the Mandela Fellows and about uh, the university, Fred. Thank you very much, Chris. I want to thank the Chamber. I want to uh, also congratulate Brockton Rotary on, uh, on your amazing work. And I want to just say a word about Doug King. Um, I live in Easton now, and Doug King and I have known each other for many years, many, many years, decades, really. And I've actually sat on boards in Easton, Conservation Commission, Board of Appeals, and I can tell you, uh, the word quality was used by Chris a couple of times. When Doug King came before a board, you knew in advance that quality was coming before you. You always had to verify, but you never had to worry about trusting uh, the work of Doug King. He's done such great 
work here in yeah. Easton. And thank you, Doug, for all the work that you've done in this Congratulations. I want to be very brief, but I just want to, one word about Bridgewater State. If you haven't been there for a while, come visit us. Uh, we're now the 10th largest, we're the 10th largest, it's, it's worth repeating, the 10th, the 10th largest um, university in Massachusetts, public or private. We are the largest in this region. We're actually much larger than UMass Dartmouth. People don't know that. We're about 2,000 students larger. We're the fourth largest public in Massachusetts. We've grown far beyond our teacher preparation programs, which are still in, very important to us. We're the state's number one producer of teachers. You may not know that. State's number one producer of STEM educators as well. We're the STEM center of southeastern Massachusetts. <clears throat> but from aviation to accounting, um, you can also get a comprehensive um, uh, program at Bridgewater State in business or in health or in other disciplines as well. You'd be surprised. Come visit, and if you come, let me know, and we'll host you at Bridgewater. Um, because we've grown very far, and I'm a graduate of Bridgewater State. I'm one of six. Five of us went to Bridgewater. I could go on and on. It's a great institution, but when I was there, it was not a global institution. Today it is. We have partnerships all around the world with just about every continent, and one continent that's particularly important to us is Africa. It's very important to the world, it's very important to the United States, and it's very important to the United States State Department as well. So a couple years ago, we competed against universities across the United States, some of the best universities across the United States, and Bridgewater was chosen three years ago amongst 46 institutions, only a handful in New England to host what we call the Mandela Fellows. This is our third go-round. Uh, the State Department cut that number from 46 to 23. So we're really in an elite class. We're one of the only ones in all of New England to host Mandela Fellows. I want to tell you about them, though. We have 25 Mandela Fellows with us tonight. These are the emerging leaders in Africa. Please get a ch have a chance to get to know them. Get to know them. They are the future of Africa, the future of such a Thousand people in Africa competed for these spots. Only 700 were chosen through the U.S. State Department. So this is an elite group of emerging leaders, and uh, they are an amazing group. They've been at Bridgewater for six weeks. Sadly, and I say very sadly, we only have a couple of more days. We have our final dinner tomorrow, and they leave on Saturday. Some are staying uh, on as well. But uh, this is a really amazing group, and I will tell you. And I said this at the opening dinner. Uh, what I said to them is. In Africa, or wherever you are in the world, if your perception of the United States of America is informed by what happens in Washington, or what happens in Hollywood, um, or what happens in New York, if it's financial, you're not getting the complete picture of the United States of America. In Bridgewater, in Easton, in Brockton, in this region, you will get a slice of who we are as a nation. And I want to just say... I, to say, I think I think it's the best of America, and we have been very proud to showcase the best of America. So congratulations, and again, please take a chance to um, meet one of our fellows. With our fellows, please raise your hand so everyone can know who you are. Thank you, fellows, for being here. So I'm going to ask Harold to come up now. Because we're going to, uh, we have a little gift for each of the Mandela fellows. So we're going to ask Harold to read your name as your name is read. I'm going to ask you to come up here. Rich Hook is going to hand you a gift. And Jerry Nadeau, the chairman of our board of the chamber, is going to hand you uh, another gift. And uh, I think Doug and Fred will be on the other end here, just shaking your hand as you go by. And uh, we'll have the video here. So, And our photographer wants to get a photo, so just uh, pause for a moment. As we go, okay? So, Harold. Hello, everyone. I'm Dallas. I know. <laughs> That's the way I'll call them. Ready? Chris? Yeah, we're ready. Yeah. Mandalas, can you get closer? I'll take a step forward and. Yeah. Because we're going to call your name individually to come in the front. And get some gift. I need a Mariama dunk 
to come first? Mariama? Tom? Take your gift. And, the, and you, you're still getting your gift. You still get, still get more gifts. Congratulations. Thank you. Okay. And then your handshake. The next, Mariana Barry. Barry, please. Yes. Yeah. And Mariana Barry is from Gambia. You still have. Yeah. Gambia is in West Africa. Here. And the next, Elvio Pineda, is from Cape Verde. The first Mariama is from Senegal. Our kids here. I've repost. Wanna make sure I get that right. <laughs> Oliver. Oliver is also for Ivory Coast. Ivory Coast? Lorenza Ego from Nigeria. And the next one is Umar, but he's not here. Umar, he has to go for a doctor appointment. He's on his way. He's from Nigeria. We want to make sure he gets his gift. Emmanuel? Emmanuel from Uganda. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Bukhari from Burkina Faso. I like that. I like that. <laughs> Mary from Angola. from Ghana. South Africa, Kristen. Congratulations. 
Lonely from Kingdom of Lesotho. Congratulations. Charles from Malawi. Monica from Uganda. As ideas for Mozambique. Congratulations. Congratulations. Yes. Good luck, Elan Rachel, 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 Uganda, from Uganda. Marta, from Ethiopia. Sian, Sian, for Ethiopia as well. Sian, Ethiopia. Alex for Ethiopia. Last and I Jan from Japan. From Gabon. Those are the Mandela Washington Fellows from 2018. Thank you. So we've got some great door prizes. Did everyone get their business card in? I'm going to give away some Red Sox tickets. We will have to be able to hear the name is called. I did, I did want to mention a couple of folks. Can you just get your... Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm going to record that keep on my phone. The music gives it attention. Okay. It's very, very exciting, right? But we have some Red Sox tickets we want to give away. So we, want, we need you to be quiet just for one minute more. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Hal. Appreciate that. I won't have to use these scissors if I. So uh, I did want to uh, mention Mike Krasanek, uh, Dr. Mike Krasanek from Bridgewater State University, who's been with the fellows all six weeks, kind of moving them around. Mary Walford, also from Bridgewater State University. Erin Lawrence, uh, Eastern resident and new, new employee of the Chamber of Commerce. Emma Stratton, also from the Chamber of Commerce. And we have Divine, our intern, who's here as well, meeting you at the door. So thank you all for your help.
Now, Doug, we need you to draw these Red Sox tickets, right? So these are Red Sox tickets uh, coming up for the remainder of the year. We have a winner. I'm going to ask her to come up to get these tickets. Lisa Betancourt from Residence Inn Marriott, the new one on the lake, Lake Nippenicket. Lisa Betancourt from the Residence Inn Marriott. Is Lisa still here? I hope so. I saw her touring. All right, so you all know the rules. Okay. Are you ready? Everybody looking right here at this camera. Looking at this one. Don't look at that one over there. Ready, guys? Big, big, big smiles. One, two, and three. I'll do two more. Okay, ready? One, two. Big smiles. One, two, three.